folks. My name is Rachel and I'm a part of the Bevy sales team. I'm super excited to have you joining us at CMX Summit. We're all attending this amazing two-day virtual conference and you'll see this phrase throughout it. Start with a conference and end with a community. Now we're going to take the next 10 to 15 minutes to really dive into what that means and why it's so valuable. So let's take the example of the very conference you're attending right now. You're going to be networking and mingling with all of these incredible community builders, community leaders, marketing executives, and consuming all of the amazing content that we have prepared for you. But what happens afterwards? What happens after the conference is over? And what if you had to wait until next year to engage with all of these people and see this content again at the next CMX Summit? Now, as extreme as that sounds, it actually happens a lot more than we care to think. And unfortunately, it's the reality of how many brands are approaching virtual conferences. We're really seeing the same challenges with these virtual conferences that we did when they were in person. Because these conferences are being created as one-off experiences with little to no connection to any other event program that your organization is running, including community, which is why we're all here today. And when that happens, it limits the effectiveness of that virtual conference itself and passes up on an incredible opportunity to activate and funnel your attendees that are still buzzing from that incredible, engaging, positive experience into any of these other programs. Now, we tried to do this ourselves with CMX earlier this year at Global Connect. And while we put out some phenomenal content, we really struggled with the platform that we used and didn't have an easy way to funnel and drive those folks who attended to the year round CMX Connect program that spans across 60 cities. We just didn't have the technology to meet our event standards. And frankly, this itself was a huge driver for why Bevy decided to tackle this massive challenge of helping all of the best organizations in the world host these beautifully branded conferences and really use it as an opportunity to turn those virtual conferences into a global community. And now I'm talking to a room full of community builders, so this almost feels silly to say, but the whole intent here is to not only host a one-off virtual event, right? Drive those passionate advocates back into the community events that take place year round. The best thing to do is to channel those folks into something that drives engagement, but is also sustainable. And let's face it, running virtual events is really, really difficult. Virtual conferences are just as hard, if not harder, than in person, right? They're incredibly manual to set up. Setting up one is really unsustainable because you cannot take that and then apply it to future events. You're essentially reinventing the wheel each time, which wastes a lot of time and resources, right? Think of it as Groundhog Day, just over and over again. You're cycling through these one-off events. And that's not the extent of it, right? Not only do they take a long time to set up, you often have competing third-party branding from whatever platform you're hosting the event on. Uh, you don't get really much data about your attendees, and you certainly don't own all of the data from these events. And if you do get limited data from the folks that are participating, it's an incredibly manual process to get that data back into your internal systems, which is where you need it to be in order to action upon it and to ensure that there's visibility of your events across your company. So having said that and acknowledging the challenge that we're faced in running virtual events, 
Uh, what is really encouraging is that you know we've all been talking about the value of community for years, and it finally feels like the market has caught on to that as well. Right? We're seeing more and more founders and executives who are acknowledging just how important building a thriving community is to their long-term success. And Bevy has really had the privilege of powering a lot of these virtual communities of some of the best brands in the world. So we're really perfectly positioned to help you not only drive immense value within those community programs, but across any of your other virtual event programs, right? Think developer relations, event marketing, field marketing, product, training, customer success, all of these various organizations are also running virtual programs and Bevy is absolutely able to support all of them. Now, when we think about how Bevy really provides you with the keys to success, there are three core pillars that we help you with to be able to drive success for your virtual community, your conferences, and your broader event programs. First and foremost, our bread and butter before COVID was in-person events. So you're going to see us approaching our virtual product and offering in an authentic human way to as much as possible, make sure that we're driving that same magic that we all felt in those in-person events. We've really taken the time to infuse that experience from running global conferences for Startup Grind and CMX into the actual platform and the methodology that we share with our customers. Now, this is really, really important because your community is what's going to drive the success of your flagship conference events, right? Um, you're seeing this example here of Salesforce with the global trailblazer community and Dreamforce, the annual conference that brings together, um, you know, 175,000 people that are a part of that broader ecosystem. All of those people coming together to engage and attend these various events and sessions amplifies the awareness um, of the brand, encourages folks to get active and engaged, create content, and um, continue to drive that engagement year round within the Trailblazer community. And all of that ultimately drives revenue for Salesforce. Let's take another example, Google Developer Groups. Uh, they're doing this next week with their DevFest events, where they're hosting over 200 events across a single weekend, driven primarily by their community. And they're expecting, I think, over 125,000 developers to attend that. Now, that's really the power of this community and conference lifecycle. Next, for all of the data-driven marketers and community leaders out there, the way that we approach our funnel is really to drive outsized return on investment by flipping this traditional marketing funnel on the left on its head to create a community funnel. Now, how does that work? Well, instead of running a series of expensive campaigns to try and drive all of your prospects across the total addressable market here down your marketing funnel to ultimately result in a single customer, what you do instead is you empower that single customer to leverage Bevy's federated permission system and create content, help host events, and really become that community advocate, which is going to drive many others to engage with that content and that community, which ultimately scales the awareness of your program and drives that outsized impact. You're going to be able to remove a ton of manual, repetitive work. Um, you're going to be able to scale without frankly working much harder or hiring anyone because all of this is empowering your customers to become your biggest advocates. This whole approach is purpose-built to amplify your reach 
and ultimately to be resource light and outcome heavy. Now, having said all of that, none of it really matters unless your systems of record have all of this data from your community and your events. Because at the end of the day, if you don't own the data, you can't own the business impact that it drives. And this has historically been a huge challenge for communities um, where it has been really difficult to quantify that impact. It's also core to all of our marketing team's ability to prove out the effectiveness of their campaigns and event programs. And again, even when you do capture some data, traditionally, you might just have one or two of these buckets of data here within the circle. What we've seen with our customers is when folks use Bevy and single sign-on within the platform, you're able to tie together all of the attendee feedback data, the event, email analytics, and integrate all of this back into your core systems of record using our native integrations. And this is so powerful because, for example, as an account executive, I want to know how many of the folks attending here are going to the Bevy sales demo, right? Who is visiting that virtual booth? How long are you spending there? What do you think about the content? What could have been better, right? Better yet, I want to know who's going to Kelsey's session about customer advocacy so I know what content those attendees might be interested in as a follow-up because clearly they care about how Adobe built a world-class customer advocacy program and scaled their customer communities. So really what you're able to get is this um, higher level 101 data, if you will, that helps you gauge what's working within your program so you can continue to maximize and scale that. And frankly, also, what isn't so that you can be proactive in mitigating those components of your program too. By leveraging single sign-on and all of the various methods of data collection, you're also going to be able to get this 202 level data which is going to enable you to prove the tangible impact that your community and events program are driving. So really, in summary, Bevy arms you with all the data that you need to prove your program's impact on the business, whether that be new user or customer acquisition, potential expansion, increase in product adoption, you name it whatever metrics are most important for your organization. And these three pillars are the keys to that success. Now, it's important to note that, you know, it's a combination of the technology with the only enterprise-grade platform out there that supports both virtual community and conference events, um, coupled with the methodology and the expertise from working with some of the best communities and brands out there and the IP that we have built alongside with you, the community members of CMX. And that's really what you get from Bevy. That's our commitment to you as your partner in working through these programs. So folks, that concludes um, my session. It's been a pleasure chatting with you all. Um, I want to make sure that you all are aware that later this afternoon at 1 p.m. Pacific, Rachel York, who is from the Bevy customer success team, will walk you through more detail about Bevy's functionality and really how we enable you to achieve this type of business impact. And in the meantime, please feel free to ask your questions in chat. Um, come over and visit us at the Bevy booth to continue the conversation. Um, I will be around for the duration of the summit. So also feel free to direct message me and connect with me. Thank you.